Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On March 25, 2025, a piece of news from the Chinese Academy of Sciences shocked the global semiconductor industry, the all-solid state deep ultraviolet DUV, laser light source technology was successfully developed, directly targeting the 3 nanometers chip process requirements and completely shattered ASML's arrogant assertion that even if you give it a blueprint, you can't make a lithography machine. This breakthrough coincided with the first time that China's chip exports broke the trillion yuan mark, marking the epic leap from quantitative change to qualitative change in China's semiconductor industry. At this moment, in the ASML headquarters far away in the Netherlands, executives may be beating their chests and stamping their feet. The contempt for the Chinese market has become a deadly poison that strangles their own technological hegemony. In 2024, China's chip exports exceeded 1 trillion yuan for the first time, reaching 1.14 trillion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 20.3%. Behind this data is the full outbreak of mature processed chips, 28 nanometers, and above processed chips account for 72% of the total exports and domestic chips in the fields of automotive electronics, industrial control, and Internet of Things equipment have swept the European and American markets, with prices only 60% to 70% of similar international products. Giants such as Texas Instruments and Infineon were forced to lay off employees and reduce production. The price of chips in North America plummeted by the 2nd of March overnight. Even NVIDIA CEO Huang Renshuen lamented, the rise of Huawei has made our blockade a joke. The cabbage price offensive of Chinese chips is not accidental. Since the United States increased sanctions in 2023, China has shifted 90% of its semiconductor investment to mature processes. Companies such as SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor have expanded production frantically. In 2024 alone, the new 28 nanometers production capacity will be 3 million pieces a month, and the global market share will soar from 18% to 28%. What is even more frightening to the West is that China uses the surrounding the city with the countryside strategy to feed back advanced process research and development with the cash flow of mature chips. The import value of semiconductor equipment in 2024 will increase by 18.9% year on year of which more than 60% will be used for domestic lithography machine supporting technology research and development. DUV laser technology breakthrough, China's lithography machines atomic bomb moment. ASML once arrogantly declared, it will take at least 20 years for China to build a lithography machine. However, the latest achievements of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have made this boast a thing of the past. The all-solid-state DUV laser light source technology uses an independently controllable lithium niobate crystal solution, which reduces energy consumption by 70% and achieves a spectral purity of 0.01 pm, fully meeting the needs of 3 nanometers chip manufacturing. This technology not only bypasses the fluorine gas laser system that ASML relies on, but also reduces the cost of core components of the lithography machine to one-third of the original. People familiar with the matter revealed that Shanghai Microelectronics has started testing a 5 nanometers DUV lithography machine prototype based on this technology and plans to mass-produce it in 2026. Once successful, China will completely break the technical blockade of EUV lithography machines through multiple exposure processes. DUV lithography machines can also achieve 3 nanometers processes, and the cost is only 40% of EUV. ASML CEO Wenning urgently adjusted its China strategy and announced that it was considering setting up a research and development center in China, but it was too late. In the first quarter of 2025, China's photolithography machine orders plummeted by 45% year-on-year. Yangtze Memory Technologies Company, Limited, Changshan Storage, and other companies clearly stated that they would give priority to purchasing domestic equipment. The sanction paradox of the United States, the more blockades 
the stronger China will be. The sanctions stick of the Trump administration unexpectedly became the strongest catalyst to promote the rise of China's semiconductors. In 2024, although China's chip imports reached 385.6 billion US dollars, the import structure has undergone a qualitative change. The self-sufficiency rate of memory chips has increased from 10% to 35%, and the localization rate of analog chips has exceeded 50%. Huawei High Silicon's Kirin 9020 chip, with performance and energy efficiency close to TSMC's 5 nanometers, has completely gotten rid of its dependence on American EDA tools. The breakthrough of China's photolithography machine has completely rewritten the global semiconductor power structure. ASML's market value evaporated by 32 billion US dollars in a week, and it was forced to announce layoffs of 2,000 people and close its German factory. Samsung's head, Li Jiayong, who once mocked that China's chip manufacturing is not as good as growing cabbage, visited China in March 2025 and visited Xiaomi, BYD and other companies, hoping to solve the difficulties faced by Samsung Semiconductor. The most dramatic change in this situation is the sharp turn of Taiwan's semiconductor industry. TSMC's Nanjing factory suddenly announced the expansion of 28 nanometers chips, with monthly production capacity increased to 100,000 pieces. UMC reached a cooperation with the Chinese Academy of Sciences to jointly develop photonic chip packaging technology. Industry insiders bluntly said, when the mainland holds the core technology of lithography machines, the technical superiority of Taiwanese companies has become a thing of the past. The final battle, China's new great war of semiconductors. From trillion-dollar exports to the breakthrough of lithography machines, China's semiconductor industry is building a dual-circulation moat. Externally, using mature process chips to control the global low-end market, internally, using independent lithography machines to open up the lifeline of advanced technology. In 2025, China plans to increase its chip self-sufficiency rate to 40% and build a completely independent semiconductor industry chain by 2030. ASML's lessons warn the world, technological hegemony will eventually be crushed by independent innovation. As The Economist said, in 10 years, China has turned the Western blockade list into its own technology roadmap. In this war without gunpowder, the rise of Chinese chips is not only a victory for the industry, but also a declaration of an ancient civilization moving towards the pinnacle of science and technology.